Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy here, Glowstick, back with another video, and today, what we're going to be going over is how to make an auto-clicker in Discord.py. So, um, yeah, <laughs> sorry, I messed up my intro saying Discord.py, but, um, it's, we're going to be using Python to create this auto-clicker, and just before the video starts, um, one of you guys actually requested this video, so like, you know, you came over to my Discord and requested it, so I'm just going to say, if you request a video on my Discord, it's probably gonna happen like 75% of the time. So if you want a video done, join my Discord and request it where people can also, also vote on it and everything like that. So it's just a higher chance of me making what you want. But anyways, with that out of the way, let's get started straight into it. So we just wanna make a folder. I already have a folder. It's gonna be called autoclicker.py. And we can open up a clicker.py. We can just make a, um, you know, a Python file like this. And now, what we do is uh and yeah so we want to start off by importing a couple of our um what do you call it? modules that we're going to be using so we're going to be using time all right so import time import reading by the way this is going to be like an overpowered auto clicker meaning uh it's gonna be like what do you call it um it's gonna have over if you properly do it it's gonna have around um max out it's gonna be 500 clicks per second which is insane and like it will probably crash a couple of websites not like crash crash like ddos crash it will instead just like crash your web page so yeah i found a good web page that you guys should also use and i'll tell you guys which one it is because it's fast and it can keep up with 500 cps i guess so yeah um so yeah, you just wanna do from pi import and then import and we actually wanna import listener and then key code. And what this will do is we wanna actually like um what do you call it? we wanna be able to toggle our thing so like we can make it so if we click S our uh, auto click will turn on. If we click S again it will turn off and then if we click E it's gonna force off it. So we just want to do pip install pi input. Just do that. I already have it downloaded. Um, so yeah, wait for a bit. It should go. Oh uh, yeah. Oh sorry. It, my bad. You want to put in pi input pip install pi input that instead. Yeah. So I already have it, so it's gonna say requirement already satisfied for you. It's gonna load up and actually do it. Uh, but yeah. So you just want that. I already I spelled threading wrong because I can't spell. But now we want to actually start coding. So we want to have we have a couple of value variables. Sorry. And that's gonna be our delay. So day equals zero point zero 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 one. Sorry. And then button. It's gonna be a lowercase b and that's gonna be a button so this is gonna be the actual button that's being clicked so um now it's button left so you don't want everybody clicking everything so yeah that's something that you would like uh and then start underscore stop dot key is gonna be key key code and then it's gonna be equal to character which is char and then uh we can pass in s and now our exit underscore key is going to be equal to again key code and then char equals to and we're going to have e so exit and then start stop and that those are going to be our only variables that we're using and now we can make a function so we're going to make it a class and it's going to be called click click a uh, mouse hold up i have something here mouse and uh we're just gonna import threading into this one threading and uh thread dot thread sorry thread i probably spelled that wrong i did thread and yeah and now we want to open this up using a semicolon and then define underscore in it and so okay yeah sorry for that i had just a little bit of background noise um 
Neural Palace and Cell, and then Delay, and then you also want to press in Button. These are just the things that we're going to be using, and now click mouse so this is it's going to be clicking that it's going to you be using our thing you sell and sorry i and then dot uh in it right here function and now self dot delay so this is gonna delay in self dot button equals button Self and then dot running false and capital F and now self dot program underscore run name that's gonna be equal to true. So when we click um S it's gonna keep on it's gonna still be true. Our its program is gonna be running but it's, um what do you call it? it's just not gonna work the thing and now you want to define start underscore clicking so start the clicking start clicking and then pass itself again and um self on dot running okay and then we want to do self dot running equals to true so true and now we can that's going to be it for that function and now it's going to be actually we can just copy this function right here and we can stop clicking and now this is just going to be false so intense copy and pasting that we got here and also you can get rid of that or else you will get an indentation here and now self exit exit right there and then so I said so exit it's define exit stop clicking this runs that function and then so that program running equals false as well and now we can go into self I mean define I keep on saying self I'm bad at this and then open this up at another run and then it's going to be a while loop so while self dot program and again oh by the way just um all of the code for this will be in my discord so be sure to join it's i'm going to link a github page there so yeah okay and another reason why you should join the discord a mouse dot click no nope, wrong thing and then oh, why does oh and then self dot button time dot sleep self dot delay and then time sleep and now we're just gonna pass in zero point one here and now um yeah we can break out of this whole big one and we can do mouse equal controller and then click thread and we're going to be using threading now which makes it just uh, it makes the performance better so click mouse delay and then a uh, button right there and now we want to do another click thread dot start and we can start it off like that and now uh we can do dev on underscore key and on okay so instead of uh sorry i messed up a bit and instead of um on click sorry oh um, yeah it should be on underscore press so yeah and i probably did no, I did it correctly, I guess. So, okay, and so, um, hold on, sorry, I have a little bit lag or something. Um, yeah, so we want to add a comma there. So, we got an error because we were getting an error. 
and uh, let's open up that and have an if statement with key. So if it equals the start stop key, the variable that we put in first, um, then it would do again if click the underscore thread dot running. And if it equals running, so running there, um, then we can open that up again and uh, have another. So it's click dot thread dot stop clicking, stop clicking underscore, and that's that. And now else, we don't have to pass in anything for else statements. I mean, have any um dependencies for else statements because you know uh, it's else. So if nothing else works, yeah. So stop clicking. That's just like when we click it again, and now we can again break out this whole thing and have an LF so if key equals um exit key exit key now this will so if it goes E it will do click dot thread dot exit so we'll just exit out of our application here and it will stop listening for this has to be lowercase and dot stop and that's another function itself that we're calling and now we can break out all of this and then we can do with listener and uh, do on underscore press equals on underscore press not adds uh, as a listener, we can do listener dot join, and that's going to be all our code. So let's get into actually running this thing. Okay, so here we are, and I have two tabs open, and they both are auto clickers. Now, I mean not auto clickers, but clicking the speed tests and one of them is good and another one is bad because if you look at our code here hours can have right this is going to be our delay right right now this will give you around 500 cps if you add a bit of this to it you know it will really add some cps right now we're just going to test it out by having a one and seeing what one cps does so just click run here Okay, and it says invalid syntax, so let me fix that real quick and I'll be back. Yeah, I said a semicolon accidentally there. Um, got rid of it. It should work now. And as you guys can see, it just gave us that, meaning it's basically working. So if we go here, and this is actually the faster one, so click speed test. This can handle more CPS, and then this one can handle less. So yeah, if we just do S, as you guys can see, every second it's doing it, right? So this should give us a one cps exactly so right if we go into our visual studio code click e right it it won't let me go into my official studio code but now i can if we click e it exit out automatically which is what we did now let's add up the ante and i should give it what we had here so this will be around you know a good amount so here we go and uh, now that's running. Let me switch tabs for you guys here real quick and This is where it basically kind of crashes. So this is not the good one. This can't handle a lot So I'll just click S and as you guys can see it's buffering a lot like it's keeping up with it's buffering insane I'm just, it's gonna it's been the time so I'm gonna turn it off now It's turned off and we just have to wait for this to load up because again, this is insanely like this one can't handle it that much and if you look, the other tabs are working just fine. This web page kind of just crashed. Not the website, this just web page for us just kind of crashed on us. Sometimes it won't load. So, you know, you can just X out the tab and move on. This one will load. And that's the good thing. That's why I chose this one. And again, this is the link clickspeedtester.com. This one just crashed on us. So we can just exit out of here. You know, this is the one that's actually going to be able to handle it. So, if I restart my code here, and I exited it. 
but if I restart and go into Google Chrome, click S, as you guys can see, it's actually handling it pretty well. And now, times went over, and boom. Now, we got 200. I held back a bit, I'm not gonna lie. And this is the thing that's not the great about the website. It says today's top score is this much. Mm -hmm. So just keep this in mind here. It's in the 200s, that's all you have to know. And now, if I do it manually, okay, and I'm not trying, by the way. Let's just do one of those, right? Boom, how did it go down? What it's actually doing is adding 0 0.5 to your CPS just so you play again. Which is kind of like, you know, a fraud, but it's okay, I really don't care. Let me go all out in this, and then let me try. So, I'm just gonna hold it here. It's not even been a second. It's not even counting a second, and we're already at 400 clicks. So, this is really OP. I don't suggest you using this on, like, Minecraft or, like, other games, like Hypixel, like, other things like that, because it's you're probably gonna get banned. So, it's just not smart. And, yeah. I just don't suggest doing it. I may. It, I didn't crash the website. I can scroll right just fine. And boom, there we go. 1.34 CPS. 1.34 thousand CPS. That's insane. Right? I'll just, I won't even, this time I'm not gonna hold back. I'm gonna go all out just for your pleasure. Cause you know, this is insanely fast. I'm going all out. This probably will crash something. Hope it doesn't corrupt this uh, save, but oh my gosh, this is so quick. Oh wow, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> alright, yeah, I ended it already. This got lower, what? Okay, so I think I ended it too early. I'll go in and like, I'll just keep it, so. I think I ended it, hold on, let me just restart it. And if we go here, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so I'll stop it at seven. It stopped, right? Oh, I'm checking right now. As you guys can see, it stopped. But um, okay. So I guess I don't know something happened. It just doesn't register. It, but that's actually insane. So yeah, as you guys can see, this is an auto clicker. You can mess around with this. I just ask you, don't try and DDoS people because one, you really can't. And if you succeed, you're probably going to get in trouble. So just don't try and DDoS people with this. I guess you could like troll your own. If you have like a local host running and you can try and DDoS that, it's probably going to crash your computer or something. Um, but yeah, you can mess around with this, show off your friends. I had actually a friend thinking I actually have 500 clicks per second. It's insane. So yeah, you can screw around with this, have fun. Um... The code will be linked down below in my, it's going to be in my Discord server, so join it. And yeah, I actually, I hope you enjoyed. So yeah, anyways, thanks for watching and till next time, Glow Stick Out.